hi y'all i just thought i'd pop in here and tell you how my december daily is coming for the beginning of december i was kind of on it i was like on a roll but then i had to finish up the semester for my daughter at homeschool you know that's why you see all of that <laughs> and then the christmas festivities started right i do make more time for the stories my kids are still little just really soaking in and stopping time just to be with them you know so anyways and so i found myself these last few days or week i should say not really creating so much in my december daily and i also know why let me tell you the reason why i have been taking so long is because i have been creating each spread or each story i should say um like if they were individual layouts because i am a, I'm a, I'm a scrapbooker instead of looking at it as like a whole book a whole project i'm looking at it like I'm creating this layout and then I'm going to create another layout. So really it's like I'm creating 25 individual layouts instead of a whole album. I'm taking forever to finish one uh, more than I would like. I have to like switch my mind into being this is a whole project. I figured that out after one layout took me like three days to do. No, this is not supposed to take me <laughs> three days. So I was like, oh, it's because I am literally thinking like I'm creating 25 individual layouts. Bizarre. Okay, anyway, I told y'all I was gonna tell you what I end up doing with the craft binder and I decided to go ahead and paint it. And I try to get very close to the pinky peach shade that she has. Kinda like this one, maybe? Yeah, this one? Yeah, just mix a lot of pink and like a peach and white all together, acrylic paints and like a yellow. It's like a yellowish one that I had. And I also sealed it with a gesso. It's a sealer on most surfaces, including chipboard. It dries quickly and it keeps the working surface visible. It's permanent and flexible after drying. And it's not glossy. It's almost like it's not even on there. And so um, something scraped it and it did scrape the paint off a little bit. So I'm thinking I might have to put some paper on it or, and actually get Mod Podge and seal it like a glossy one. So I might leave it to last. But for now, it's painted this peachy pink. <laughs> okay, so let me actually show you what I've done. All right, so now I'm recording this just a few days after Christmas and my nails are, mm, I need to get them done for the new year. <laughs> after all that baking, I gotta wash all the fancy dishes by hand, right? I've only got a bit and it's quite chunky already. So that's something I have to keep in mind for the next pages. I only have three stores in here. I'm gonna put something here. I don't know what yet, but it's just too plain. This is the first page that you see when you open it up. I don't have a lot of holiday acetate. I just got clear acetate that you can get at Michael's. And I used the gut from this die right here that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance. I always go for the basic shapes when these dies go on clearance stars ovals, circles, hearts. I use this die. I'm gonna use it a lot in this album. These alphas are also from Hobby Lobby Clearance. And then this 2022 is from the Mintopia Joy collection. Then the back is my reason why. And I stitched it because the die does make a hole where you can actually stitch it if you want to. And that's the end result. Don't love it, but I do not like it to where i would scratch the idea and not do it at all there you go some texture for you like i said this is my reason why using the puppies i love them they're super cute perfect size and i want to get a second set but they're sold out and then to cover the back of this die cut just uh, some hearts this is for my stash here you go i had to put some reinforcers and these i showed them on my instagram i just make them you just buy a pack of white reinforcers like at any office supply store i got mine from walmart make sure they're not glossy because if they are it'll make the drying time longer this is gold acrylic paint but this is watercolor paint she's got a lot of shades here and i think i went for this one yeah then it's the family portrait. I didn't use this picture for the Christmas card, but this is my favorite photo from the short session that we did. I saw this idea around the December daily 
hashtags on Instagram and I really, really liked it. Framed it with a whole bunch of ephemera and punched out stars and puffies and these acrylic trees are from Hobby Lobby this year. This poinsettia is a dye that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance because they will go on clearance when the spring starts coming closer, the spring season, the winter dyes will go on clearance. Just put this little bow here, I think this is from Michaels. To finish it off, just some splatters from Heidi Shine. And then these washies are two separate ones. I kept missing the holes. This was like my first punch, right? And I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers punch, punter punch board for this one. I kept missing this one, and so I had to put washi tape but the gold bottom one was a little too yellow. Both of these were gifted to me by my sister. They're really pretty. This one has more of a texture to it and this one just has a really nice shine to it. This is duct tape and I don't know where she got this one. Maybe the Target dollar spot? It's not very sticky so I had to glue it down. But the duct tape one is pretty sticky. And then I flip it over here and these are just the two portraits I took of my girls. I like the out of pocket, but when it comes to photos, I think I'm still going to put it in the sleeve so it can be protected because there's already stuff on them. Again, this is a dye from Hobby Lobby Clarence. It's like one of those thin stack dyes. I made a little shaker. I don't know how Happy Millers put foam. I need to see a tutorial. I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory, but I need to see a tutorial of putting foam through your manual die cutting machine because I did this by hand and took forever. <laughs> Brought in some browns because there are some browns in the collection even though it is a much lighter brown. It works. I actually wanted two by twos because I wanted one of both my daughters and then one of me and my husband but I ended up printing these. <laughs> I thought they were going to be smaller so I didn't want to waste photo and it's a pretty photo so I just thought I'll just make this whole spread about them too. I think something's missing here but every time I add something it makes it way too busy so just kept it blank. Then here it's our Christmas wish list. This is just an envelope from years ago Christmas cards. I had extra and I think this is like a letter to the three kings or something that might be something that is celebrated more so in Spain, I think. I just put a Christmas present over it. So you can always do that if something doesn't quite fit any ephemera piece from any collection. If it doesn't quite fit, you could always just add a sticker or just an embellishment on top of it and still make it work. This is also from a die on clearance, the scalloped oval. I hand drew with a pencil. Um, the best I could the shape of these numbers and then I hand stitched it some velcro there and our Christmas wish list. That's what I wanted for Christmas and I got it! And um, this is what my daughters wanted so it says mi lista de deseos and then the back I didn't want to waste the back so that's gonna be story number two and it's gonna be decorating the Christmas tree. I don't know if I should put decorating the Christmas tree here with an arrow and then journal here. I think that sounds best. This is actually packaging from the Joy collection. Did a border punch there. I, I, I never do those quite right. Again, stitched it. And then this Christmas tree is a tag from a Dollar Tree. And I just wrapped some gold thread and then put some matching colored sequins. And I made a little sequins mix here from what I had. I didn't buy anything new, but I think I'm gonna buy some more colors and buy some more embroidery thread to more match the collection. I just haven't made my way to Hobby Lobby. I'm scared. Because you know, the after sales, it makes people go crazy. And this is just felt from my stash. And it's really hard too. It's not flimsy felt. Just put that star there. So cute. <laughs> And then I might add more pictures. My husband has pictures on his phone. Might do like a flip up. I made this because I was going to put my reason why on here, but I wanted to utilize the back of this. So I just thought put my reason why here. And so I might use this for something else. Not really sure what. It's a little envelope that I made with my envelope punch from We Are Memory Keepers. Made this tag to match 
the tag that she has like the edges for the edges to match and the shape some puffies randomly just like she has these hearts randomly so it could kind of pop and I might change this out because again this is not my reason why I might change this out to go more so with whatever story it's gonna be so really I only have two stories that's all I got <laughs> oh I was gonna ask you what should I do my daughter actually drew her wish list should I just fold it up and put it in here or should I cut it up and put it in here I don't know what to do oh I did make this I wanted to use this but it was too small obviously I need to get some red foam thickers because this had gold on it and it was just popping out too much and so I took off the gold and now it's kind of I wanted to get it out but no because then it would have been super flimsy and it just didn't make any sense. It's a really pretty paper. So that's it. That's all I got. Hopefully I will scrap some more. We'll see. The weather's been nice. It's been getting warmer and warmer every day. It was like 20 something degrees here in South Texas, which is insane. I'll see you on my next one. I think I'm going to do maybe share my crafty goals because all my planner videos I'm going to put towards Petite Arrow because it's just more about homeschool and family planning. But okay. That's it.